Lavenham, a beautiful historic village in the heart of the West Suffolk countryside. It's the best preserved medieval village in England, and wandering around you could be forgiven for simply admiring the many fine half-timbered houses and the quaint streets. But there are other interesting surprises this village has to offer. Take for example this village sign in the northern end of the village. This elaborate sign has numerous features depicting aspects of Lavenham. The Guild Hall, the parish church, the old US air base, a woad plant, sheep and a loom. The sign also has a number of crests or plaques. This is the crest of arms of Thomas Spring III. Thomas inherited the family wool and cloth business from his father and during his lifetime the cloth trade was at its most profitable. Spring was believed to be the richest man in England outside the peerage. He was closely involved in the rebuilding of St Peter and St Paul's Church in Lavenham. The rebuilding gave Spring an opportunity to display his wealth and generosity and his coat of arms is carved 32 times around the church. The other great benefactor was John de Vere, the 13th Earl of Oxford, who was Lord of the Manor. The de Vere symbol of a star is also very prominent on the church. This plaque is the 487th Bomb Group and Gentlemen from Hell plaque. The 487th Bomb Group of the United States Army Air Force began operations at Lavenham Airfield in 1944. The Gentleman from Hell patch was worn by some of the original crew of the Bomb Group. This plaque depicts a World War II bomb named Bolton Billy on account of the fact that in 1941 the 500 pound bomb accidentally fell on Bolton Street in Lavenham but luckily didn't detonate. At the opposite end of the village is another sign designed by local artist Neil Rutherford and has three panels. At the top are the three panels representing the heraldry of the De Vere and Spring family together with the Tudor Rose. The middle panel is a weaver and a loom and the bottom is the Guild Hall. However, take a look on the back of the sign and one sees a small snail added by the design. This is Little Hall, a late 14th century hall house located just off Market Place. It was extensively restored in the 1930s. Note the unusual letterbox. Here in Prentice Street, there's a rather plain looking flint wall. But on closer inspection, a tiny porcelain figurine can be seen in the flint work. And here in Bolton Street, in front of a fairly modern looking house, is a rather deep well. Located around the centre of Lavenham are ten remaining green cast iron water standpipes. These are a reminder of how fresh water was once provided in the not too distant past. In fact they were only installed in 1937. See if you can find all ten. Here in the High Street, just above a shop called Retail Therapy, is a rather impressive statue. Unfortunately little is known of its origin or who he is. In this building, which is the Guildhall Tea Rooms, is probably the best preserved Tudor shopfront in Lavenham. Note the lower shutter would have served as a counter in front of the open window. 
And here's another example in Water Street. Finally on this house, a humorous plaque, which I think needs no explanation. Visit Lavenham and a warm welcome awaits, but take your time, admire the wonderful buildings and look out for many more surprises. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>